going on YouTube? Kurt S7 here for the review of Arsenal 1 and Manchester United 2. Now you can probably already tell I've got a smile on my face. I'm happy. <sighs> Just um, this game is probably the first game of the season. The first game of the season where I was expecting to get a loss. Even the games against Chelsea and the, game against, uh, the games against City, uh, I was both expecting to get results out of those games. Um, this one, wasn't expecting any results whatsoever. The injury list we had, and to come out with three points in this game at the Emirates is just massive. Absolute massive. Um, now, I got a lot of stick from Arsenal fans from the start of the season for when I gave out my predictions. Um, you know, even on the 7 show, I keep uh, knocking Arsenal and I keep getting bad. Uh, now, I'll be real with Arsenal fans. Now, I'm being real with you. Don't get upset at me, alright? The reason why I'm. Uh, the reason why I, I, I. It's not that I don't. Yeah, I don't want Arsenal to do good, but the reason why I'm so you know, anti-Arsenal this season has got to be because you guys, out of all the teams fighting for fourth spot, you guys had the most opportunity to, you know, take advantage on building your squad the most. And yes, you did bring in Alexis Sanchez, but that was not the type of player that you needed. And more than ever, uh, then this game proved it. You, you guys have too many players who are the similar type. You got Alexis Sanchez, uh, Oxlade Chamberlain, Theo Wilcott. Yes, he didn't play. Ozil. Yes, they didn't play. But too many types of these players are the same, similar type of players. And you, there is no variation. You play beautiful football. You don't have that big defensive midfielder in the middle of the park. You just don't have it. You just needed to strengthen. And again, you needed to strengthen up front, and it cost you today. Jack Wilshere running through, could have ch he chipped for the he chipped the ball? De Gea saved it. You're telling me, you know, if you had a world class striker, who, who there was plenty available in the summer, if you had a grabbed one, then he wouldn't have finished that chance. Um, I'm, I'm, I would bet my balls that Arsenal would have won this game if you had a proper striker and a, pro a proper defensive midfielder, without a doubt in my mind. But. He just didn't strengthen, and that why that is so why I'm anti-Arsenal this season because Arsene Wenger should be held responsible, especially for this game. And in this game, it wasn't even about players trying, wasn't even about luck, wasn't even about all these other things. It was definitely for me all about Arsene Wenger got ripped a new asshole by Louis Van Gaal, and it's evident. It was so evident today. Yes, you can say Arsenal were unlucky today. Oh, unlucky yesterday, because the game was yesterday, so I'm a little bit late for bringing it out. But yeah, Arsenal were a little bit unlucky. Yes, you did deserve all three points. But unfortunately, you don't win titles on deserving to win games. And and, and too many times, you can have games where, oh, we should have won that today, Arsenal. Oh, yeah, we should have won that. We're, yeah, it's all right to have it once in every blue moon, but you guys have it nearly almost every game. Oh, we should have won that today. Unfortunately, Arsenal fans, you guys... Just do not compete against the big teams. I'm sorry to say it, but you guys, you, I don't think you guys can disagree with that. You guys get you, you dominated against the big teams all the time. And I know this is more about an Arsenal review than a United, but I just feel like Arsenal's issues need to be addressed more than United. At this, come on, the back four today for majority of the game, you had Valencia, right back, Ashley Young, left back, you had McNair, Blackett, you had Small, oh, come on. Like, you're telling me an Arsenal team who are pretty much, not 100%, but pretty much full strength team compared to Man United, uh, we're playing at the Emirates today, you know, you're telling me you cannot get a result against that defence. Come on, come on, it's a joke. If we had played another team today, even a Southampton uh, at St. Mary's, we would have got done. If we had to play Newcastle, you know, at St. James's Park, we would have got done. We would have got done today... But Arsenal, they didn't put us to the sword. And fair play to us. Uh, first half, Arsenal all over us. You guys, I'll give it to you. You were all over us. And you should have had... Uh, should have been 3-0 up at halftime. You had so many chances. Jack Wilshere's chance. Uh, Danny Warbeck had um, you know a few half chances. And to be fair, you know this is the this is the type of game that I think Louis Van Gaal would be like, yep, 
I was right to sell Danny Wilbeck. He had so many half chances and just didn't take him. He's just, he really needs to improve on his finishing. And um, it was more evident than, than today. So, second half comes out. And, you know, Arsenal still pressing, still a- as they should be. You know, especially up against our defence. And uh, Louis van Gaal, the tactics just played right into his hands. Just hit Arsenal on the counter-attack. And to be fair to uh, Kieran Gibbs, unlucky, son. Absolutely unlucky. But that's all United, that's all we're trying to do, was just hit Arsenal on the counter and make the most of that out of our luck. And Antonio Valencia did that. Strike the ball low and hard. Wasn't having a shot. Just put it in where the traffic was going, where the danger zone was. And Kerry Gibbs just fell right into that. Kicked it in his own net. 1-0 up. Beautiful for United. Exactly what we were trying to do. And may Arsenal, at that point, he's over-committed. He's put too many bodies forward. There was still 20 minutes to go, and you guys were playing like there was two minutes to go. Just, oh my gosh. And again, we're just hitting you on the counter-attack. As, as shit as our defense is, mate, going forward with Di Maria, Van Persie, and Rooney. Yes, I know Van Persie didn't have his best of games. It is a deadly strike force. It is deadly going the other way. And I'm unfortunately, overcommitted too much, and boom, we're away again. Di Maria to Rooney, 2-0. And right there and then, I thought, geez, game over, you know. But the way the game panned out, uh, unfortunately, uh, injuries to Jack Wilshere and Luke Shaw, unfortunately. Both English, so that's pretty shit for Roy Hodgson. But, um, you know, Arsenal, mate, how how in the world was this game 2-0? Now, because of the injuries, it was eight minutes extra time. Um... Di Maria got played in by Wayne Rooney in his own half. In his own half. Unbelievable. And he's gone and scuffed it. Should have been 3-0. Uh, being tuned up, you think the game's over anyways. But, uh, you know, he missed the chance. Um, but Giroud, uh, 10 seconds later, put a beautiful, beautiful left-footed strike in that top corner. Game on with a few minutes to go. And uh, it wasn't meant to be. It finished 2-1 to United. Could have been 3-0, could have been 2 all, could have been 3-0 to Arsenal. But Arsenal, mate, the questions out this game. It was This game wasn't about how good was Manchester United, how lucky Manchester United were. No, this game was all about Arsenal. Questions have got to be raised over Arsene Wenger. The tactics, um, you know, a lot of people say Arsene Wenger in, Arsene Wenger out. That's not up for me to decide, but tell you what, if I was an Arsenal fan, I would be livid. Because you look at other teams and you look at Arsenal. Yes, I know Arsenal have built a new stadium. All their money's going that way. But they're spending about 40, 50 million every single summer. And you're telling me you're short on players of top quality strikers and defensive midfielders? That team is so totally unbalanced, it is not even funny. And questions over Arsene, uh, Arsene, Wenger, Arsene, Arsene Wenger has got to be asked. Just have a look at Piers Morgans, mate. That guy, biggest Arsenal fan going, he makes total sense after the game when he was talking about Arsenal, Arsenal and Arsene Wenger. So... United three points are uh, three points back to the top for I'm just so wrapped with that. That is massive. And the reason why I say this is so massive is because we are both fighting for that fourth spot in the table. They're playing Champions League next year. And I know Arsenal normally scrape in for top four. And I tell you what, if it wasn't for Liverpool's freaking bad form, you guys would probably not make top four this year. But it seems to be that you guys are going to get lucky again because us, uh, Liverpool got done by Crystal Palace today. So who knows what's going to happen? Who knows the way it's going to pan out? Who knows? Maybe Arsene Wenger is going to buy massive freaking players in the summer. Uh, who, I mean, in the uh, January transfer window. So who knows? But uh, three points to United, mate. Get in. So pumped. But again, like I said, lads, we've got so many injuries now. Luke Shaw injured. Um, I don't know when Falcao's coming back. It's just, oh gosh. Injuries, injuries, injuries. My word. People say this is the turning point now for starting the season. Um, I'm not too sure about that. I don't think so. I probably have to disagree with that comment. I think inconsistent results are still going to come with Manchester United. Hell, I won't be surprised if we drop points in the next game. 
but that's just my thoughts and opinions. So uh, yeah, that's the end of this review. Three points to the end. I said, please like, subscribe on the uh, YouTube channel. Make sure you follow me, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all these wonderful things that you can find in the link in the description. Anyways, I'm your boy Curtis Seven. Take care and peace. Come on, you know, I said, get in.